pretty much since humans have existed, they've looked around to Mother Nature for inspiration. And one of the most inspiring sights all across the globe is that of a big, large, beautiful tree. Now, I'd like to think that maybe a hundred years ago, ago or so, there was one such man sitting on top of that hill right behind me, looking down across the flay at this tree for inspiration. He wasn't a poet, he wasn't a writer, but in his own way, maybe he was a bit of an artist. His name was Percy Durban Crew, and he was very well known for the extremely high quality and quantity of the hooch, or should I say moonshine, that he distilled and drank probably right there. This is Nantwich in the far west of Wangi National Park, very close to the Botswana border. And a hundred years ago, it was a farm belonging to that man, Percy. And he probably sat on the hill looking across at this tree because that tree, I'm very sure, is at least a hundred years old. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter, and I am standing in front of a beautiful specimen of a Vecellia tortillis, the umbrella tree known in the local Indeveli language as Ngoka. So there is another man who more recently, I know for a fact, has looked at that tree for inspiration and turned to writing to express himself. His name is Tony Park. He's a well-known writer, novelist, and probably about 20, 25 years ago, which is coincidentally the first time I ever came to Nantwich, he was sitting up there when it was an old National Parks Lodge, and he felt so inspired looking down on this scene, this classic African scene, that he picked up his pen and wrote an entire novel sitting just over there. Years later, the lodge fell into disrepair, and very recently, he and a group of partners came in and made it their mission to resuscitate Nantwich. They've just done that, and I must say it is looking absolutely beautiful. One of the prime spots in the park, nobody else around. And if you do go to Nantwich, you get to sit on their veranda and look down on this spectacular tree. So a quick reminder on why I'm calling this Vecellia tortillis, you might be have been expecting me to say Acacia tortillis. Of course, all Acacias in Africa were recently renamed to either Vecellia or Senegalia. So the African Acacias were split into two genera. And just to remind you of the differences, the Vecellia are the ones with the spiny thorns and the capitate inflorescences, and the Senegalia are the ones with the hook thorns and the spicates, the long spike-like inflorescences. But just to make it even more confusing, this tree is the only one that has both a hooked prickle and a straight spine on the very same branch, almost right next to each other. That's pretty much how you tell a tortillas at one look. Also look for, the name tortillas means tortured, tied up, screwed up. So look for those little screwed up pods. They're, they're about, if you pull them out and you unravel them and pull them out, they're about 10 or 12 centimeters long, but when you let go, they ravel themselves back up and they're completely unmistakable high up in the tree. And as you can see when I'm standing here, it's not just Homo sapiens that gain inspiration or at least some sort of relief or pleasure from this tree, it's also elephants. This area here has been rubbed completely smooth. There's plenty of mud on it that's come from the back of an elephant who's been in the water just over there and then come here and given his back a good scratch against the rough, rough bark. Pretty unmistakable bark, by the way, when you look at it. Uh, there's not many of the Vecellias that have a bark quite like this. Not many that grow to this size either. Most of them are fairly small and scrubby. This one can grow up to 25 meters high. Really, really beautiful tree. So standing here as the sun's going down, I've got the lure of a cold beer calling me. I've got to get back over there to the lodge, sit on the veranda, drink a cold beer and look at this tree for a little bit of early evening inspiration. So I'm on my way out. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, africanplanthunter.com. Just go check it out. 
hit the subscribe button. You'll never miss any of my videos again. And if you're looking to gain some inspiration from a beautiful example of this Vecellia tortillis, the umbrella tree, I could highly recommend that you come to Nantwich, sit on that veranda, perhaps next to me one of these days with a cold beer and gaze down on this. All right, guys, I'm off to crack that one. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.